All right, everyone, we have a great class lineup for you today, which includes a lot of self-defense and then also a lot of forms work. All right, one thing I do want to encourage you guys to do is come join us in live classes and come to your specific live class every Tuesday and every Thursday. We have classes for beginner martial arts students, intermediate, advanced, black belt, and adults as well. So please make sure you guys come in and you guys join us for those class times every Tuesday and Thursday. But for our class today, we're going to bow in and then Mr. Martin's going to get you guys warmed up and stretched out. So face front, go cheer you up. Come in. All right, Mr. Martin. All right, first thing in the warm we're going to do is we're going to make sure our legs are ready to go and also our arms are ready to go. So you guys are going to start with 10 jumping jacks with me, okay? Ready? 10 jumping jacks, go. Once you're done, stand really tall. Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to do 10 push-ups. Go. Good. When you're done, stand really tall. Good. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to do 5 jumping jacks. Go. Good. When you're done, really tall. Now, 5 push-ups. Go. Good, and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to move a lot faster and a lot more. And then we're going to review a couple of our, a couple of our stances, okay? So you guys are going to start with jogging in place. Okay, and I want you guys to stay with me while we're doing this. Okay, now go a little faster. Now slow down. Good, make sure you guys are still moving. Try not to stop. Now go a little faster. A little faster. Fast as you can. Slow down. Good, now starting our stances. Ready? Go middle stance. Hands up. Back straight, toes forward. Okay, ready? Go left front stance. Right front stance. Middle stance. Run in place. Look faster. Ready? And middle stance. Hold. Go left front stance. Right front stance. Run in place again. Go. Start pretty slow. Then we're going to start to go really fast again in this second. A little faster. A little faster. And freeze. Good. While running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out different actions. If I say up, you're going to do a backward jumping jack. If I say down, you're going to drop down to a burpee. Okay, so stay with me while we do this. Ready? Start running. Okay, ready? Go up. And then keep running. Ready? Go down. Keep running. Ready? Go up. 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 Down. 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 Keep moving, let's go. Ready, up. Up. Down. Good, and relax. All right, active. All right, next we're gonna go into our stretching. Okay, stay with me while we're doing this. And remember guys, do what you can when we're stretching, okay? So you don't want to push yourself too crazy far because you might pull a muscle. So stay with me while we're stretching. So pop your feet apart. Okay, and pop your hands in the center like this. Slowly start to slide your feet out in the little splits. Okay, and you don't want to go until it's crazy uncomfortable. You just want to get so you can feel the stretch just a little bit, then you want to hold. Okay, starting up nice and easy. Then you guys are going to walk your hands from one side, tap your foot, walk them to the other side. Tap your other foot. Keep this going back and forth. Good. Now, while we're doing this, we're going to add our hips into it. So when you walk, you're going to turn your hips one side, then walk, turn your hips other side. We're not going any further. Walk, turn your hips other side. We're just loosening up our muscles.
Good, now in the middle and hold. Now start to push even further. Hold. Now turn your hips, left side, turn right side. Turn left side, just your hips, turn right side. And keep going. Good, left side and hold. Good, while we're doing this, keep your back really, really straight. Make sure that your legs are lined up in a straight line. Rotate over to the other side. Same thing, back straight. Legs lined up. Back in the middle. And slowly sit back. Take your hand, reach in the center. Hold. Good, I want to see if you can get their nose to the floor in front of them. Hold that position. Good, reach over to your left side. Over to your right. Legs in, butterfly stretch. Bottoms of your feet touch and then pull your feet in close towards you. Then try to put your nose onto your toes. Good, all right, go ahead, go ahead and stand up. All right, and stand at attention. All right, everybody, for our next drill, we're gonna be working on a blocking drill. If you have somebody in the house that's quarantined with you guys, um, what we can do is you're gonna kind of use them for assistance during this drill. If not, you can do it in the air. I'm first gonna show you guys how to do this in the air and how to practice in the air, and then what we'll do is we will use our partner next. So first thing you're gonna do is Mr. Martin's gonna help you guys demonstrate. He's gonna take a one foot backwards, he's just gonna put his hands up in the air like this. The reason you want your hands in the air and your hands open is because if I step backwards like this, this is now provoking um, a fight in a self-defense situation. Doesn't matter what my situation is, if I want to defend myself, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I get away from the situation. So I don't wanna sit there and I don't wanna provoke anything. What I do wanna do is I wanna put my hands up just to make sure that they are there to protect myself, okay? Hands out in front, in between me and whoever's trying to attack me. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a simple drill. So Mr. Mark goes to backwards. He's gonna go circle. I'm gonna say one. He's gonna go one like this. Now he's circling in front of his face and blocking. Other side, circle one. Then I'm gonna go one and then two. All right, ready, go one and then two. All right, now, we're gonna add side blocks, but we're gonna change how we do those blocks, all right? Instead of us swinging down today, I'm gonna teach everybody a new way to do this, all right? But traditionally, we would go like this. Everybody go one, two, three, and four, okay? Again, go with me, go one, two, three, and four, all right? Now, what we're gonna do though, is we're going to now, we're gonna drop down like this and connect our elbow to our side this way as we keep our hands up and then bring our hands back up. So one more time, I go here and then I come back up. I go here, then I come back up. Then I do the other side. So this is gonna be three and four as a different way to block. This way, you can block and keep your hands up at the exact same time, blocking with your arm, which is really solid. So everybody go like this, go one, two, three, and then four. Now go one, two, three, and four. All right, one more time. Everybody go one, two, three, and four. All right, now with your partner at home, they're gonna have hands open. All right, now they're gonna just try to touch your ear. Now make sure that if you're under the age of 18, you make sure you get mom and dad's permission for this, okay? So I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna send her very slowly, try to touch his ear. Now I'm not gonna try to hit him or poke him or anything like that. I'm just gonna go nice and easy, touch, touch. Then I'm gonna go one, two, like this. One, two, one, two. 
Now I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I go one, two, three, and four. Then I go one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to start to mix it up to where I'm going to go four. Then I go two. Then I'm going to go one, three. With your partner, you guys are going to do that. So you guys can pause the tape right now. Practice that with your partner again and again, and this is going to kind of help you guys learn a new way to block your body, and then also prep for your bully self-defenses by blocking one and blocking two. All right, guys, so next part of this is going to be, we're going to be working on a breakaway technique. Now, we're going to break this down, and then I want you guys to stick with your partner, and you're, then you're going to practice this afterwards. So first, we want to go over a couple basic principles, all right? With your partner, you're going to go ahead, let's go ahead and extend your arm all the way away from your body. Now, first thing that I'm going to do, going face this way, is I'm going to push his arm down. He's going to try to stop me, but his elbow is going to be all the way away from his body. So I go like this, and I go here. Okay, and now he's going to bring his elbow into his body. Now, at home, you're going to do this experiment as well. I'm going to try to push his arm down now. Let me see if I can push his arm down. Okay, you're going to find you are way stronger with your elbow in by your side. You want your elbow connected to your body. Another reason you want your elbow connected to your body is not only because your arm is going to be stronger here, but it's also going to help you be able to turn your body, your shoulders, your hips, and your core into the technique that we're doing. So again, everybody take your arm out like this, okay? And then Mr. Mark is now going to push my arm down the other side, okay? And then I'm going to do it with my arm big then it's gonna be much stronger with my elbow in. So go back and forth. Then next, what we're gonna do is we are going to, with our elbow in, we're gonna practice against pulling against the weakest part of the, our opponent's body. So, Mr. Martin, he's gonna have his elbow in with just one hand. I'm gonna go like this. Now he's gonna watch where my thumb points. So if my thumb points this direction, he's gonna go that direction, he's gonna pull up to his shoulder. Just like that. If I go down grip, he's gonna pull down this direction wherever my thumb is pointing. So you guys have to figure out where the thumb is pointing. Now the thumb is pointing this direction. If I grab the other hand, the thumb is pointing that direction. If I grab this way, the thumb is pointing up. If I grab down, the thumb is pointing down. And you guys are just gonna go back and forth like that. Now, my, uh, Mr. Martin's gonna do the same thing for me. He's gonna go this direction. Then I'm gonna go down this direction. Then I'm gonna go across this direction. Then I'm going to go down this direction. Now, some of you guys, especially if you're working with, let's say, somebody much bigger, maybe an older sibling or mom and dad, you're going to still have trouble with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you an assist here and a couple things that will really help you guys be able to do this. Now, if your partner is 100 pounds bigger than you, right, partners make sure that you guys are working with your, uh, with your student or with the person that you're trying to help. Okay, I'm, he's gonna grab here now. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my knees. That way I have a solid base and my knees are bent. Then I'm going to grab with two hands. Now I'm gonna keep my elbows right by my side and everything super tight. I'm not trying to pull with my arm like this. This is not what I wanna do. I wanna have my elbows in and I wanna grab this way and then I'm going to come across this way here. Then I do it again, he grabs again, I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna pull everything as tight as possible. My core is turning like this. My arms don't move, my elbows stay the same. It is my foot, my hip, my core that turns my body, all right? Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with Mr. Mark. I'm gonna grab his arm, he's first gonna bend his knees, both of his elbows are in close, and then his core and his hips are what pulls his arm out. This is a very important detail. Now, you guys are gonna have some fun with this and literally get to the point where you start out really easy. He pulls. Then you guys are gonna get as hard as you possibly can hold like this. And then he's gonna have to pull all the way out. So start out easy and then get harder and harder and harder. This will help you guys with your stranger danger self-defense and then also for some of you guys your bully self-defense this session as well. training with me today. Today what we are going to do is the first line of the first degree black belt form. Let's go ahead and get started. BTF. Chaya. Kimge. Okay. So the first line. 
When you do chibi, your left leg is going to move out. Your left hand is going to come across your chest, going across just like this. So chibi will look like this. Let's turn and face the right as we do this. From here, your hands are going to come together. Your left leg is going to step towards me. Two hands, you're going to do a twin palm heel strike in front of you. Now you're going to cross your arms in front of you, closing your hands. Twin knife hand outer form block. Closing your hands again, bring them back. Twin upset knife hand strike. From here with my right leg, I'm going to do a right knee strike, stepping down. My left leg is going to kick towards me. Front kick, keep my knee up, kicking backwards. Side kick. Now I'm going to take that left leg and I'm going to step forward, hands chamber here, left punch. From here, my right leg is going to step backwards, facing backwards, going this direction, left hand, upset knife hand strike, right hand punch. Then I'm going to pick up my left leg and do a jump front kick with my right leg, landing feet together, just like that. All right, let's do it again. Turning to our right. Chimbi. Hands come to my side. Stepping into a front stance. Twin palm heel strike. Make an X. Twin knife hand under form block. Hands come back. Twin upset knife hand strike. From here, right knee strike. Left leg front kick forward. Side kick backwards. Hands come here. Stepping into a middle stance. Left punch. From here, right leg is going to step backwards, going away from me. Left upset knife hand strike. Right punch, picking up that left leg, jump front kick with the right leg, land feet together, just like that. All right, let's do it one more time. Here we go. Chibi. Left leg step towards me. Twin palm heel strike. Chamber, twin knife hand under form block. Hands go back, twin upset knife hand strike. Knee strike. Then with my left leg, front kick, knee stays up. Side kick, knee stays up. Hands chamber here. Punch. Right leg steps backwards, going away from us. Left hand, upset knife hand strike. Right hand, punch. Picking up that left leg. Jump front kick. Right leg, land feet together. And that is the end of the first line of the first degree black belt form. Thanks for working with me today. Work really hard, practice it, and we'll see you guys next time. Welcome back, it's good to see you again. Today we're gonna to work on the second line of the first degree black belt form. Let's go ahead and get started. Check it, kill me. Now when we ended the first line, we were facing our right feet together just like we are now. So let's turn to our right and put our feet together. From here, you're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna to step towards me in a back stance. You're going to chamber for a square block. Now, when you do this square block, it's a compound square block. So that means my front hand is going to open and my back hand is going to stay closed. We're going to do it in slow motion, concentration, compound square block. From here, I'm going to step together. My left leg is going to do a front kick and a round kick. So stepping together, left leg front kick, pivot, round kick. Hands are going to go out. My hands are going to do a circular motion into a compound double low block. So they're going to circle. This hand opens, this hand closes. One more time, just like that. So from here, circular compound double low block. Now you're gonna step together. Your hands are gonna do the same circular motion, but this time they're gonna do a double knife hand strike. So it's gonna look like this. So from here, circular double knife hand strike. From this direction, I am now gonna take my right foot, I'm gonna step backwards, so I'm facing away from me. My left hand is gonna do an inward inner form block, blocking across my face. Same arm is now going to do a low block straight down to my leg. My right arm is going to punch, then I'm going to do a knife hand strike towards me. So punch this direction, then knife hand strike this direction. Now you're going to pick up your right leg, side kick, land feet together. And that's the end of the line. Let's try it again. So feet together, facing this way. Left leg steps out, hands chamber. Concentration compound square block. Step together, left leg, front kick, pivot, round kick. Hands go out, circular compound double low block. Let me adjust. Step together, stepping out into a middle stance, circular double knife hand strike. 
from here, my right leg stepping backwards into a back stance, going away from us. Left hand, inward inner form block. Left hand, low block. Right hand, punch. Other direction, coming towards me. Knife hand strike. Right leg chambers, side kick, land together. All right, final time. Feet together. Chamber for that square block. Left leg steps up. Concentration compound square block. Stepping together. Left leg. Front kick, pivot, round kick. Hands out, circular, compound, double low block. And this is in a back stance. Stepping together, stepping out into a middle stance with my left leg. Circular double knife hand strike. Right leg is going to step backwards in a back stance. Sorry, this is my right leg stepping backwards in a back stance. Left hand, inward inner form block. Left hand, low block. Right hand, punch. Right hand, knife hand strike. Right leg picks up. Side kick, land together. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you train hard, practice hard. We'll see you next time.